up, left, right, ass. <laughs> it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Oh my goodness, infograms. So, the, the company that now owns Atari, Ghost Man. Seven Software. So is this like Scottish? It's all written in French. So I don't know, a Scottish company made the game for the French market, maybe? Don't know. Well, obviously it's a Pac-Man clone. Um, Espace pour commencer. Yeah, I got to say, can I? No, I, I want to say it in a really bad French accent, but it's it's going to be nah, probably insult a bunch of French people. Don't want to insult anyone, um, and I can't really do accents at all. Space. I don't know what the kick con uh, controls are. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. Um. I don't know the control. Did it tell me the controls and I just wasn't paying attention? I'm doing the cursors. Oh, God. No, it does. Okay. Okay. Well, I've got left and right sussed. How do I go up? Up, please. Up. Oh, okay. Okay. I think we might be getting there. Obviously, I should have learned what these were before I started recording but you know this is me I do things this way because that's the kind of guy I am up left right ass <laughs> that's that's a direction <laughs> ass is a direction if you didn't know that you weren't paying attention in biology lessons Okay, well, uh, uh, oh. That's quite harsh. Oh, God. No, no, oh, God. Um. All right. We're going to have another, one more go, but I've got to be honest. While this is responsive to the controls, and the controls are not to... No, actually, damn it! It's hard. It's real. I want to go up. I'm pushing up. It's not going up until. Do you know that map actually reminds me of Pac the Pac-Man map on the Atari 2600? It might not be the same, but it's got that feel to it. Yep. But it's a lot harder than Pac-Man on the Atari 2600, I think. Oh dear. I'm not liking this in the way that I liked um, Ghost Gobbler, which is the game I played just before I started playing this. I don't know what order they'll have appeared in on my channel, but this is not the best Pac-Man game on the Auric. I'm interested that it, oh Christ, that it is infograms. That aspect of it I find interesting. It's like, you know, the, this is a, well, obviously they're not Atari and they weren't Atari when they did this, but they're, they're now using the Atari name. And that's kind of amusing, oh God, especially given that Pac-Man on the Atari 2600 is more enjoyable than this. Uh, it's technically probably a, not as good graphically, like Pac-Man can at least turn around on this. <sighs> but, no, this one, because of the way the, the maze works, they, they trap you too easily on here. You just get stuck. Mmm. Ghost Man. 
on the Auric Atmos. Probably also plays on the Auric 1 because they're basically the same machine, but this one looks nicer and has a proper keyboard. Okay, thank you for watching. Hello, today's question for Q&A is from Chill Out Cyber Cafe. Link to their channel down there. They ask, for Q&A... Q and ass? What the hell? <laughs> for Q and A. Hi mate. You might have seen online everyone posting photos of desks with computers, bracket, battle stations, close brackets. What systems do you have set up or would you have if you had one yourself? I'm not familiar with these photos or the term battle stations, but I can show you how I have stuff set up. I've got two different locations within this room where I have stuff set up and ready to go or easily set up a ball, if you like, plug in a few wires into the telly and away we go. So I'll show you those. I'm gonna to have to pull my bed out of the way here to do this. Give me a moment. Okay, so this is where me console gaming gets done. There's the, the, the TV is there. It's God, that thing's old. Sanyo 32 inch LCD thing. It's not even full HD. It's 1080i. PlayStation 4 Pro, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, Mega Drive with 32x, Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast down there. Um, VIC-20, Commodore 64, Atari 2600, Atari Jaguar, Sinclair Spectrum, Acorn Electron, Nintendo 64. They're all ready to go, more or less, you know, I, I have to uh, plug the aerial leads in and, and scart leads and stuff like that, but that's all easily doable. Oh yes, and a, a Amiga Tower just there as well, can't forget that. And of course right next to them I've got this load of stuff as well. Um, yeah, so that's where the console gaming gets done. This is where I make the videos. They're, they're on this telly using these here. That's, that's where all of that happens. Bear with me. I'm going to move the bed again and then show you the other side of things. Okay, so there's this uh, gaming PC, though it's a few years old. Ten, what is it? GTX 1050 graphics card. 8th generation i5. It, it, this is my workhorse and I don't really use it for gaming at all these days. It is purely for Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, video editing, that kind of thing. But then uh, this, this, this is my beast if you like. I mean it's mid-range it's considered but it's the most powerful PC I've ever had it is a PC specialists what do they call it R5 something like that it's a Ryzen 5 5600X with the Nvidia 3060 um, 500 gigabyte SSD Two terabyte hard drive, sixteen gigs of RAM. It's pretty. I don't know. I think it's kind of what you would consider the standard decent specs for a, a mid-range gaming PC. Um, it's nothing special, and I'll show you how little I use it for gaming, conventional gaming. That's me keyboard and mouse, and you couldn't get further from a gaming keyboard and mouse than that. I'm u that, that was the thing I had plugged into me Larkbox Pro and I'm using it just because I'd got it and I only use it for launching the Oculus app and that's it because while I have got some games on here like Grand Theft Auto 5 and, and some stuff I've got on Steam that's not what I use it for it, it's almost exclusively used for running VR chat um, and I have it connected to my Oculus 2 headset via AirLink, so I don't have I don't need a cable running from it. So this sits here, and I'm across the room in my chair with my headset on, and it, it just sits there and looks all pretty and glowy. 
and I'm largely oblivious to it, but it's it's running the VR chat thing, which is just so much better on a decent PC than it is on the uh, Oculus headset running natively. And that, I don't know, I can call it a battle station, it's just a PC, it's not even at a desk, you know, it's on, it's on a piece of cheap wooden racking. Yeah, okay. Hope that answers your question adequately. It it might all be very disappointing because there's nothing fancy about any of this. It's just utilitarian. Okay, anyone else who's got any questions they would like answering in a video like this, ask your question in the comments below and begin with four Q and A. So I know not to just answer in the comments. That's what I say, isn't it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll go now. Yes, your majesty, it would be... What, what the bloody hell? Okay, which smart-ass wig to subscribe button to the teleporter?